hi everyone welcome back again to another flooded tutorial and in this session we will be discussing about uh, how to write data onto the firestore so in one of my previous video we were just discussing about how to get data from the firestore and display them in the ui right hope you guys remember that if anybody is new to this video or uh, anyone has missed that part one video then kindly please do check that out i will also leave the link for that video at the card at the top right and as well as in the description okay so in this tutorial we'll be just making use of a firestore to write data using the flutter web application more precisely and we are going to use the same ui what we have used for the part one video right so we have a list view and a nav bar but a simple change is that i have added an icon button over here in the app bar which when click will add a static data that is a static field with a value onto the firestore okay so this is what we will be achieving in this video tutorial and with this idea let's get started with the coding part so this is our database that is the data what we have in the firestore a set of two documents with the field so the field as name and the value as student 1 and student 2 and what we need is like we need to create an additional document that is a third document with a, a predefined set of field and value okay so that is what we will be achieving in this tutorial so let's just start developing that okay so basically um, you just need to add these two packages so this i have also discussed in the part one video so i just don't want to waste the time in explaining all, all them again so just add these two packages and we have a simple ui right here and I said before I have added an icon button over here in the app bar and inside this icon button that is inside the on press event of that button I have just made a call to the function called add students and this add student function is what we have written down here in the database manager class and this function is pretty much responsible for adding the document that is a particular document inside the collection okay and so basically this document will be uh, creating uh, sorry this function will be creating a document with an unique id so um, you just no need to worry about giving a document name that is the document id all by yourself if you make use of this function it will automatically generate a document with a particular or unique id and uh, and add a field called name with the value as test name okay so let's just run this app and see what happens. Let me perform hard restart. And let me just click on this add icon button. So you can see that a test name field has been that is an additional document has been added. Let me show the Firestore as well. If you see here in the Firestore, a new document with an unique ID is being added in our firestore and it has a field called name with the value as test name right so this is the function this is what the function will be doing uh, creating a document with a unique id and a set of fields which which we have just provided with it okay so what we need to have now is like uh, we just need to edit a document say for example i just need to edit a document or else i need to create a document with an id or a name which i just need to create or a custom specific name so if you create, need to create a document with a custom name or a custom id then there is a function separate function for that and let's just see what it is now what we need to have is like we need to create a document instead of uh, uh, making the code to create a unique document id i just need to pass or i need just need to create a document with my custom id in that case we just need to make use of this function which is add field and inside this function will be making of this doc and pass in the document id so i have just passed this my doc so i just want my document to have the id as my doc okay and you can specify the parameters that is the fields what you need to have inside your document with the help of this set method you can just specify them and this function actually has two advantages one is uh, 
you can make use of this function to create a document with your customer id as said before or else if you want to edit a document uh, that is previously added that is it is already existing but you just need to add another field to that particular document in that case also you can just make use of this function and pass in the document id over here and this method set options merge colon true is nothing but if the document is already existing and if the merge flag is set to true then along with the parameters and the fields what you have say for example we have a field as name already in the document one and if you want to add another field called row then you can make you can set the flag as true if you just set it as false then all the old parameters will be all the old fields will be removed and only this field what you have specified over here will be added to the document okay so this is one other example and let me also explain this with the help of a demo okay so we were calling this function add student in say this on click right so let's just change that to add field so in order to update the ui in order to visualize the new document being added to the file store i have made use of the set state so this is not an advisable one always go for some state management technique like block pattern or something else in order to have a uh, structural code pattern okay so that is how you can manage the states of the app but in order to keep this tutorial more simple i have made use of the set state okay Make the from hard restart and let me click that so what is happening here is like we don't have a document with the name doc my doc okay so just created a new way uh, document with the id as my document and set the parameter that is the set the field as set the role field as developer but what we are displaying in this list view is the name field right you can see that here right now so we we are trying to just print the name but as it but this is the new document we, which we have created but not specified the name field right only the role is what is provided for this my document so in that case we just provide name not found as the default value if it is null okay so let me just show the firebase file store console now you can see that a document with the id my doc has been created since it is not existed anywhere else it has created a new document over here and with the field as role and the name as or the value as the developer okay so this is how you can add a particular document with the unique id or else add a document with the custom id and edit the document parameters or the fields with the help of the set method okay that's all about how to write data onto the fire store using a flutter web application so that's it guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye